Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Leslie Weidenbenner, and I'm here at the Indiana State House with Representative Bob Boehning. He's a Republican from Indianapolis. Welcome. Thank you very much. Representative Boehning, as chairman of the House Education Committee, you've been particularly busy this year. Um, and one of the bills that, that the House passed would create a preschool pilot program. First, can you tell us what that program would do? Yes, we're looking at trying to provide preschool for children of poverty across the state. And the bill would create a pilot in five different counties for four-year-olds, and it's focused at provi providing high-quality early childhood education. Um, the reason for this is the fact that we recognize, and not just we, but this, the nationally, the data in terms of children of poverty and how they come prepared, ready to learn in kindergarten. Normally they come about a, a year and a half behind before they even start kindergarten. And the goal of this is to try to address those particular students and try to get them ready to learn. I know many other states have some kind of preschool program. Why do you think it's important that Indiana join those ranks? Well, we've become a leader in terms of education reform. This is one area where we believe, and I believe personally, that we have a real deficiency. We know that, as I said, these children come behind. Uh, the other staggering statistics is that one in three of the African-American males that come behind will actually be part of our juvenile justice system or our criminal justice system in the future. And those are type of statistics we just have to change. And if we're, it, I believe it saves us money long term, and it just makes sense. One of the other statistics which we learned is that a child of poverty in their, from birth until age five by a caregiver or parent is read to an average of 25 hours while a middle income family or child ends up having almost 1,500 hours of reading in that same period of time. So there's huge disparities and somehow we've got to do something to get them ready to learn so we're not remediating and we're not dealing with the issue of um, dealing with them in our criminal justice system in the future. How is the program funded? Uh, we're funding it basically as a pilot. It, it has seven million dollars which is in the budget. Uh, we're looking at making sure we maximize every dollar available currently so we're not using or we're planning other dollars. It will be, they will be used first and then we're using it five different counties and different providers. In, in the testimony from the hearings we had, it, uh, the providers all as well as the advocates said you need to have a multiple providers that it shouldn't just be public or private but it should be uh, a number of those. So we're going to look at those. It is definitely focused on quality. We will require ISTAR KR, which is a readiness uh, exam at the end. And we create an early childhood advisory commission that's to track these students and really look at their success as they move out of the preschool program into our K-12 system. So we're doing it as a pilot to see if it really will do what we hope to do in terms of change these kids' lives. So the, it's headed to the Senate. There's been a little skepticism there about the cost. Do you think it has a good shot there? Um, there's no question. Well, I do believe there is some question in the Senate. There's some philosophical differences in terms of is it the government's responsibility to educate these children or is it their parents? And unfortunately, I think if you're a child of poverty, you know, you don't have the options that middle income families do. Uh, the cost is limited because it is a pilot to seven million dollars. So I don't believe that we have to worry about that. But um, it does also provide the flexibility in another bill that I have. Uh, the governor asked for us to create another program where business can get involved and get some tax credit and actually get involved in that place as well because there, uh, currently some of our major employers are advocates and are already providing early childhood opportunities across the state. Representative Bating, thank you so much for telling us about it. I'm Leslie Weidenbenner with the StatehouseFile.com and Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks for joining us.